Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. So let's go ahead and get started. A professional civil engineer is designing a vertical curve to pass underneath the bridge. Classify the vertical curve and calculate the curve length that most closely maintains the clearance shown in the figure below. So let's think about this curve. Uh, we need to classify this curve. We know that we have two kinds of uh, vertical curves, uh, crests and sags. Uh, this one is going to be a sag because its concavity is positive. So we already know this is a sag. Okay, now uh, we can go and calculate the curve length that is most closely, uh, that most closely maintains the clearance shown in the figure below. So we need to calculate the curve length that maintains this clearance of 25 feet. And for that, uh, we're going to be looking in our NCES um, reference handbook version 2.0 uh, at page 279. And you're going to find this equation that the curve uh, elevation equals um, the elevation of the PVC. Okay, um, plus our G1 that was given, this is our G1, times a distance to whatever point we are analyzing. So in this case, this is going to be our distance X, okay, in this curve. Let's call this is the point X. So this point has um, station and elevation along this curve. And we're going to multiply this by x plus um, a multiplied by x squared. And this is also shown as we have that the curve elevation is also shown as the elevation of the PVC plus our g sub 1 times x plus the... Um, x squared times g2 minus g1 divided by 2l. And we are looking to find the l, which is our length. So let's uh, make some calculations here for a second. Uh, so we're going to need to use the station of the bridge to, to calculate the horizontal distance x from the PVC to the bridge. So uh, we know this station, right? We know the station for the bridge and we know the station of our PVC. So the difference between these two stations will give us uh, the x value. So let's do this calculation here. So we have that uh, our x I'll call this the x for the bridge, uh, will be our PVC station, which is um, 128 plus 50, minus our uh, bridge station, which is 125 plus 00, so 12500. 0, 0. This will give me that x is equal 350 feet. Um, and now I can calculate um, what is the curve elevation at this point? We already found that the distance x equals 350, right? And we need to know what is the elevation at this point. So let's calculate that. So we know that the elevation at x, so I'm going to call elevation x, will be our elevation at the bridge, which is 1,365 minus 25. So we have that um, 1,365 minus 25. I'll get an elevation of 1,340 feet. Okay. Once we have calculated this elevation, we can use the equation to find um, L, to solve for L. So we have that a curve elevation is equal 
our elevation at the PVC plus G1 times X plus X squared multiplied by G2 minus G1 divided by 2L. So we have that 1,340 is equal um, our elevation at the PVC, which is 1,350 minus our G1. We have, um, in this case, it's plus the G1, but our G1 has a negative value of minus uh, 4%. So we're going to put this in decimals. Okay, so this is going to be minus 0 0.04 times 350 plus 350 squared multiplied by our G2, which is positive, this is 2%, so 0 0.02 minus, minus our G1, which is minus 0 0.04. This divided by 2L. Let's move a couple of numbers to the left side of the equation. We have that 1340 minus 1350 plus 0 0.04 times 350 is going to be equal 350 squared times uh, 0 0.03, which is um, just the math of 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04 divided by 2. And this divided by L. Then we're going to solve this and find that 4L is equal 3675. So if we solve for L, we're going to find our L equals 918.75 feet. And this is approximately 919. So the correct answer is letter C. Thank you and I see you next time.